Good morning, friends. You guys ready to sing with me? The sun is shining. Good morning. Good morning. And we're all smiling. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Hooray. Hooray. Have a good day. Great. Let's jump in with some Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Excellent. Let's do, let's see. How about five little monkeys? I did five little ducks yesterday. Let's do five little monkeys. Five little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap that monkey right out of that tree. Four little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap that monkey right out of that tree. Three little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap that monkey right out of that tree. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap that monkey right out of that tree. One little monkey swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snap that monkey right out of that tree. All right, my friends. So if you've been following along, you should have a bowl or something like that, full of water, full of scraps of paper, and they should have been sitting for about a day. So I'll show you what we got. Check that out. Kind of looks like a pile of mush right now. Um, so, I had a bunch of different writing on my paper, so it's starting to come off in the water. The ink is starting to come off, which if you watched the video about paper recycling, you would see that that's something that they do in the recycling plant, right? They de-ink the paper, and they take the ink out of the paper using chemicals so that they can get it all white. So, what we're going to do today is we are going to mash up our paper. This is a really good sensory activity too. So, I can't hold my phone over the bowl while I use my hands to do this. So I'm gonna lift it up so you can see what I'm doing. So, I have some of my wet paper and I'm just going to start tearing it up. And it's really, really soft at this point. So it tears up really easily and you can get teeny tiny little pieces. You really mash it up. And we're gonna do that to all the paper in the bowl. Really mash, mash, mash it up. So when we have this in our classroom, we will use different tools like manual egg beaters, the kind that you spin. Um, We've used like potato masher kind of things to, to work on mashing up the paper. But your hands are really good tools for this too. Just reach in, keep tearing, shredding, mashing um, in whatever way you can. Use whatever tools that you have at hand that you would like to make a big mushy mess with this. The longer you leave it to absorb the water, easier it's going to be to do this. So, just keep ripping up the pieces. 
Now this yellow paper, the legal pad paper I put in there, is super duper soft. That's just shredding no problem. The construction paper is a little bit thicker. It's taking a little bit longer to rip. But once you get it mashed up and ripped up, it should look a little like that. And then once you get it to that stage, just leave it in the water for another day or so. It's gonna get even softer. And tomorrow, we'll come back to it, check it again, mush it up, mash it up. We're gonna make our pulp. Did you guys learn what that meant? We talked about it a little yesterday. The pulp is the paper that gets mushed up. So it gets, it becomes like a, like a paste almost. And that's what they use as the base to make recycled paper. They dry that out and spread it out with big rollers, smash it down, um, and then take all the water out of it and smooth it out. It makes recycled paper. So something else you could do if you have access to this um, is you can take your wet paper as it is right now after it's been soaking for a day or so and put it in a blender or a food processor with the parent's help. And you can blend it up for about a minute. That'll make your job go a lot faster. I've never done that, but in a lot of the tutorials and the videos I've watched, the people do it in there. So it is an option. It's gonna make, <laughs> make your job a little bit easier, but then you also kind of lose out on the sensory experience of shredding all the paper, getting wet, getting kind of messy, which is fun. I think it's fun. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So when you're home throughout the day, you don't have to do it all at once. Mash up that paper, smush it up. Tear it up, get messy. Take this outside and work on it. It's gonna be kind of a nice day. Um, and then leave your little pulpy paper bits to absorb some more water overnight. And we'll check back on it tomorrow and move on to our next step. All right. Okay. Your water's gonna turn a funny color too. It's gonna be like a cloudy gray. That's what mine is right now. All right, my friends. We are going to read a frog and toad story. How about... Ooh, how about the hill? This is a winter story. I know it's finally starting to get nicer outside. We got a couple of very warm days in there, but we're gonna read a winter story. Down the hill. Ooh, can you guys even see that? Okay. Frog knocked at Toad's door. Toad, wake up, he cried. Come out and see how wonderful the winter is. I will not, said Toad. I am in my warm bed. Winter is beautiful, said Frog. Come out and have fun. Blah, said Toad. I do not have any winter clothes. Frog came into the house. I've brought you some things to wear, he said. Frog pushed a coat down over the top of Toad. Frog pulled snow pants up over the bottom of Toad. He put a hat and scarf on Toad's head. Help, cried Toad. My best friend is trying to kill me. I'm only getting you ready for winter, said Frog. Frog and Toad went outside. They tramped through the snow. We'll ride down this big hill on my sled, said Frog. Not me, said Toad. Do not be afraid, said Frog. I'll be with you on the sled. It'll be a fine, fast ride. Toad, you sit in front. I will sit right behind you. The sled began to move down the hill. Here we go, said Frog. There was a bump. Frog fell off the sled. Toad rushed past trees and rocks. Frog, I'm glad that you are here, said Toad. Toad leaped over a snowbank. I could not steer the sled without you, Frog, he said. You're right, winter is fun. 
A crow flew nearby. Hello, crow, shouted Toad. Look at Frog and me. We can ride a sled better than anybody in the world. But Toad, said the crow, you are alone on the sled. Toad looked around. He saw that Frog was not there. I am all alone, screamed Toad. Bang, the sled hit a tree. Thud, the sled hit a rock. Plop, the sled dived into the snow. Frog came running down the hill. He pulled Toad out of the snow. I saw everything, said Frog. You did very well by yourself. I did not, said Toad. But there is one thing I can do all by myself. What is that, asked Frog. I can go home, said Toad. Winter may be beautiful, but bed is much better. All right, my friends. I hope you guys can get outside and do something fun an outside adventure today. And I'll be back in a little bit to read the next chapter in our chapter book. And otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.